Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Grim Fandango. Now, in the last episode, we were able to secure the briefcase for Chowchilla Charlie and discovered that the briefcase was full with number nine tickets. So he is somehow involved in this whole unsavory scheme that's going on in El Maro with Hector Le Mans. But we're back here at the Calavera Cafe. I actually came back here to see if Chowchilla was still in his booth. And does not look to be the case. However, the officer who arrested the worker bee is still here, so that's interesting. I guess he took a... <laughs> went out for a smoke break and saw the bees starting to unionize. Gladys is still over at the High Rollers Lounge. Now, one thing I know we need to do is get that cigarette case from Nick, the one that had the key in it. But I don't really remember how to do that. Um... Mary! Oh! What, Lupe? I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang! I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me... Here! No! No, wait! Ah! Be quiet! Here it is! <laughs> wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Oh. Okay, so Nick came by and grabbed the key. That was what that all was about. So, let's go ahead and head back to the VIP lounge. Actually, I know what we have to do first. Before we head back to the cat race track, we need to pay a visit to the blue casket again and use the turkey baster on the hookah water. And then pay a visit to uh, our soon-to-be missing sailor. Or do we need to do that right now? Maybe not. Let's, let's focus on one thing at a time, otherwise I am going to get distracted. So let's come in here. Hello, my friends. And Olivia is still there. Now, oh, here's oh yes, we also got the uh, union card from Chow Chilla Charlie, so that's good. Now it's gonna come in handy. I think that's all of our business here in the blue casket, so let's leave Olivia alone. And now let's head to the cat race track and see what exactly is going on. To my knowledge, there's only one area that... Is this... Okay, this is the way. This is the quick way. There's only one area that I've seen that is actually locked, and that is that lighthouse. And I do remember something going on over there, but I can't remember for the life of me what actually happens. So... Get that back in here. Open it up on the straightaway, now let's talk to Nick again. See if we have any kind of option to get this cigarette case from him. Now that we know that he took it. Nah, he'd see me do it. How's tricks, Nick? Nah. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full. So what are you gonna do? I'll ask Max if I can borrow you. He doesn't like sharing his counsel any more than he likes sharing his girlfriend. So don't bother. Really? Well, we could always tell Max about you and Olivia then. I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage. Especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you're gone. Because I'm sick of looking at you. Nice. He left the cigarette case. Man, this is going to get me in trouble. Come on. There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. Now, I do remember how to get the latch open. Unfortunately, it's here in the same area, somewhat. So while Nick is distracted... Come on! You gotta head up to security, which I believe is this, yeah, up here in this direction. 
to get on board the Olivia 2. Now we need that metal detector. But I think this is how we get the cigarette case open. It's locked. So let's go ahead and get this. Here we go. What's that? Cigarettes, what does it look like? Let's go with this approach. I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? No, there was a shifty looking guy with crazy eyes who put it there. Oh my god. Give me that! It's a bomb! There we go. Ha ha! Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. A key. I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, it's probably the key to some terrorist hideout. Cool. Now, we're not actually going to run that to Chief Bogan. Well, let's actually run it by Chief Bogan. Let's see what exactly he would have to say about it. And then we can go ahead and head to the lighthouse. And see what exactly. Man, that is a big airship. That's right out of the Rocketeer. Too bad we can't actually get on it. I think I spent a whole lot of time trying to see if there was some way to board that blimp, and it just was not the case. So I guess we'll head back to the Calavera Cafe. And see what Rubicaba's finest... I didn't want to go down the elevator. Crap. If you just go by it, it do, there's no option. You just get on board. Yeah. Well, that was a mistake, Manny. Let's go ahead and rectify that. Elevator go up. There we go. Now then, without making that mistake again, I would really like to see what this version of Rubicaba looks like during the day, now that Manny's done all these improvements. I think that would be kind of interesting to see to see the city proper. So, the chief is down here in the casino. And where is it? Gold. Man, he's got some deep pockets. And a good suit to be having that in a turkey baster and not stain. I don't really want to give this to Bogan. I was just trying to fool Carla for crying out loud. <laughs> Whoops. I never actually handed the key off to uh, Bogan before. I wanted to see what would happen. Cool, cool. Well, let's go ahead and head to the lighthouse. And Lupe didn't interrupt me for anything, so that's good. She didn't do it when I left before, so I guess it took a little bit of time. I guess we had to see... Um, Nick actually take the key out of this of the uh, cigarette box or the cigarette case before we were able to uh, talk to Lupe and he and she let us know. I assume as much. Elevator go down. Elevator stop. Now, this is where we need to be. Gotta run by here. These guys are probably not very happy with me. So, what are you guys doing to free Terry? Hmm. Guess it's up to me. Yeah. Tons of personality. The ominous lighthouse. So, where's our key? There's our key. Lola, did Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that picture real bad, but he's never gonna find it, that fink. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just do 
Tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, would I have had a chance? Never mind. She just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Lola! Oh. Lola! That sucks. Now, yeah, what is that? Oh, Lola. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. Oh, that's one of Lupe's... That's one of Lupe's, uh, coat cards. So, let's head back to the cafe and see where exactly... Or what kind of clue she left for us. Which means that Lupe will get to try out her new system, so I guess she'll be all kinds of happy. That sucks about Lola, though. That's sad. I wish he would just went ahead and tell told us where that picture was, though. So what is that? What does it actually say? Ooh, looks like a tongue. Yep, that's a tongue. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number twenty-two, lengua. Indeed. So, after we do this, I'm not exactly sure. I guess we'll head back to the cat track and try and get that metal detector. Okay, Lupe, it's your time time to shine. Hey, this is a card for my new coat check system. You do care. Can I have my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. 22, 22, 22. Lengua, lengua, lengua. Darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh... I I'll tell you tomorrow. Hmm. But for hopefully we aren't going to be here tomorrow. So let's see what this looks like. It's Lola's jacket. Poor Lola. If I only had her camera or that film, I could really get Nick. There's a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. What's it say? All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, I remember what that is. The rusty anchor, that's a tattoo design. So we actually have to head to the tattoo parlor. So let's go ahead and head that way first. Since it's kind of on the way. And we can go ahead and drop off the uh, hookah water to our nice little sailor friend so he'll get knocked out and we won't have to worry about it. And then we can get the card and I figure at that point we can blackmail Nick into representing our B friend to get him out of jail. Speaking of which, we haven't seen him in jail, have we? We probably should go do that. But first, I'm trying to remember where everything is. Let's... is it down here? Yeah, it's right down here. Off the beaten track. Now that lighthouse just looks a little bit more foreboding considering what bad mojo happened there. Alrighty, once more into the breach. And he's very careful not to get the rust stains on his nice dinner jacket. 
Okay, well, it's... Whoa! I didn't see this area before. What we got? A lot of stains for a guy with no bodily fluids. Ugh. I really doubt I'll be touching that any time soon. That's one old fridge. Looks like a lettuce crisper. Smells more like a fungus crisper to me. It's empty. Whoa, what's going on? Hey, shut door. You slowed down my grinder. Very painful. Very painful, eh, Naranja? Like torture. <laughs> Okay, what is going on here? Well, let's use the turkey baster. Nah, he'd see me do it. So, what do we have to do? Let's open the door. Is that gonna short out again? Oh, he's distracted. Oh, no, 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 no. Who is over there? I don't really wanna do. I don't really wanna do that. When I am done with Naranja here, I am going to tattoo big floppy ears on the side of your head so people will know what a jackass you are. I don't really want to do that. Well, what did he... I don't really want to do that. I think this is the key. Just have to keep the door open somehow. And then it closes. Let's get the turkey baster ready. Eh? Who is over there? There we go. And he has his head turned. Look, you broke it. Now it won't shut. Drink deep, my friend. Nemozogia, hold still. What are you? Dead? Kaifa, wake up. I don't work on drunks. Resek Chavargo. What kind of sailor are you? Can't handle booze, huh? What you tell us gonna know? What anger at the name folks give is at me? The Taliashen Bolon Watcher. Well, let's go. Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. Am I a here? Well, he's sobered up. I send him to limbo. Yeah, yeah. You make it there by morning. Promise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I told him. Hmm. Let's see what you got on you. Are you I kidding care? me? Semen and Selmo Naranja Ensign third class. I gave Doesn't him look the like idea you'll be in the first in place. The, well, the dog tags. I don't remember what ah, the dog tags are for, though. Stripes. Doesn't look like you'll be showing up to work in the morning. But since we're here, we need to look so at the. Uh... Still going? Uh, hang on a second. Reach for that again, and you will pull back a stump. Hey, listen to me. You've got to take Ooh. care of yourself. He's nasty. Very salty. So where's the little tag that had the... Here we go. Ah, uh, hang on a second. This mean anything to you? You mean beside the song, the poem, and the bar, and the statue by that name? Sure! It is one of my most famous designs. Here, I show you. Let's see, uh, number 30. Harmin Sech, Harmin Sketer, Harmin... Ah! 36. Here. Hey, what is this? Well, what is it? Stared at it for a long time. My friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Lola was here. Sweet girl. Like daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. Right. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's sad. Can we still talk to him? Hey! Velasco! Manny, do you mind? 
artist at work here, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think our business here is concluded. So let's head to the jail real quick. I want to see what's going on with uh, our worker bee friend who was in a bit of trouble. I wonder what they do for unionization. Like, what is the... On the card? Let me see it. Oh, crap. Oh, 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 one of Charlie's rush jobs. Good thing your new captain's far-sighted. Uh, still no room for you on board. Naran just sleeping off a bad one, but he'll be here. But I'm first on the waiting list. As it were, yeah. And don't forget that Glottis has got to bring his own tools. He will. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good. Because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. Well, that's that done, at least. I think we need to finish off um, our sailor friend, just because if he's out, Velasco is still very, very aware that he is going to be, like, there in the morning. So, I'm trying to remember what we need to do with the dog tags. And we'll... Oh, oh, okay. I remember what we need to do. It actually involves this place. We need to grab the metal detector to hand off at, over there at the uh, near the blimp to hand off to the coroner, and we need to drop the dog tags onto a body. So the body, so the coroner believes that the body belongs to the sailor, and then he'll be pronounced basically KIA, and then Manny can take his place. Hello, my friend. Hey, Terry. That was a beautiful speech out there. Yeah, it may be so, but it landed me in here. Don't worry. I'll get you the best lawyer in town. Okay, Manny, but quick! Before the movement loses its buzz! <laughs> be humor. I was actually thinking we were gonna have some dialogue options there. Let's actually chat with uh, the coroner real quick. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. No. We had no options. That was uh, kind of awkward, as you would expect, speaking to a coroner like that. So, let's go ahead and have a chat with Nick and show him this picture. And maybe get a little bit of revenge for what he did to poor Lola. And then we'll probably call it an episode and then head up there to the blimp to get the metal detector. Because we're almost done here, I think, in Rubicava. Here's hoping, at least. Run! Is Nick still there after talking to Max? No. No, he is not. I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick. Okay, that's interesting. I figured he would be here. Hmm. Okay. Let's check one more time, just to make sure. Nope. Not the case. Well, let's... Nah, don't need to talk to Glottis. That's pretty much a lost cause. And that leads up to the track itself. And Manny doesn't like crowds. So, there's the metal detector. That's that's our prize right there. And we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And the next uh, one will be taking care of the metal detector. And hopefully getting out of Rubicava and moving on to year three. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you'd like to go ahead and leave a like down below. Uh, subscri subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.